one is it's so and today i'm showing you guys how to get the mouse grill reset on pc and that i showed working a little while back ago on working on a controller but already we get one both with the mouse grill reset working on a controller uh on the dual controller and also how to get custom key bindings so how to do this is you basically need to get a program so the program we're getting is steam so you're just gonna go down here you're gonna go press welcome to steam and you're gonna install it after it's installed and you started it up you're just gonna show it up and you're gonna plug it in here and the next thing we want to be doing is you want to be basically let's see let's make this smaller so you guys maybe can see what i'm doing here let me see here plus my little bit of uh cameras anyway and you're basically gonna press add a game now add a non steam game to it and what you're basically gonna be doing is you're gonna find your steam game press it there as you can see i already have it then next to that you want to be pressing on this little bar down here and you're going to start up the uh, big picture so this is how you get it to work inside steam with a controller you can basically get this picture and your controller will work in insider remember to plug in your controller before you start steam and what you want to do is you want to press on this wheel right here go to controller settings and to say press to press off the controller that you're basically using i'm using a playstation controller so you're just going to do that and then you're going to hit head back next what we're doing is you want to press your library and you want to find your install games and you want to press on epic games and next you want to do is you want to press manage shortcuts and go into controller configuration this is where the magic is going to happen so what happens is that it's basically shown is that you can basically get this to uh, get the scroll wheel or the touch zones on the controller to basically have two different areas so it has one on one side and one on the other side and what you're going to do is we're going to press on it and what it's going to show here that i basically is that before it was basically just a single button and now it has basically the mouse scroll wheel and with the mouse scroll wheel we're going to set it up so it works so to get this i usually set it around the sensitivity because setting it higher gets it really really sensitive I also set the spin friction to high, so it's basically going to stop. So you're basically just going to do uh, like a start normal mouse reset. So it's going to do like two or three. Usually it does two. So if you get um, get a feeling on it, you're basically just going to go two, and you're going to go straight into another action. Next to that, you want to set press it and set your scroll wheel back on this little mouse thing. And the next thing you can also do is set key bindings. So for me, I'm setting two because this is the key binding I use inside the game when I play uh when i basically play fortnite with my air so you can see it but it's basically here now on the scroll forward you want to set scroll wheel down because the scroll fade forward means when you take it backwards it's opposite for some reason you get the scroll wheel and then you set the other one to two and on the other side you also have the button so this button is basically when you press the button on top of the pad so if you play half claw and you press the button on top with your finger you basically get a key binding there as well and i set that to my shotgun then you just want to go back and you want to go to the other one now what's very good is since you get two sides of it you don't get two key bindings you now get six meaning you go or five basically because you're using one for scroll with reset right so you have five key bindings on the other side when i set it i usually set it to x uh, i have this as a key binding when i want to use my heels inside the game on when i play pc so i just set it there you can set it as any key binding you want set the spin friction to high set the sensitivity to the same and i set scroll wheel up because i scroll wheel up to the loot this is really good uh, if you're stuck in a box and you want to pick up that golden shotgun because you got a great attack but you can basically press on it and there's a body inside there and maybe there's two so you kill one you see how he has a shotgun you want to pocket him up um, but you press it uh, you press your square button and you stand in the shake down and the two other squads just shoot just from each other side instead of you being able to pick it up now with that you can basically set so you're scrolling backwards and you get a weapon and then you can set out the one back here i usually set it to r because that's my reload so you can also reload it inside the box two for one basically Next to that, uh, you're basically done inside here. If you want to change any other buttons, you can do that here and all of that kind of stuff. But I usually don't do that. Once you're done, you're basically going to go all the way back out from your library. Press on this thing and press exit big picture. Now that you're done, I'm actually going to show to you that this is working completely fine. So what you want to do now is you want to steam open. You want to press on this right here. And what you want to be basically be doing is you want to press on play. 
Steam. You can also just close Steam and you can do this also down here from this little bar and press Steam. Now, once you're going to see that this is working, you're going to see the Steam, the Steam picture coming up up there. That's basically going to be the picture that shows you that you basically got Steam connected to Epic Games. What's good about this is that usually games that you play on from the Epic Games store, like say for example, if you try playing on Red Dead Redemption, Batman Arkham Knight, Assassin's Creed Odyssey or anything like that, what happens is that the controller isn't working. So you have to download a third party program that gives you enable so you do so control works and it adds input delay, it adds so much stuff that's just probably and like you I don't really want to I don't think most of us actually want to do right. You don't want to basically need to use those. So with Steam it basically just lets you enable the controller for Steam. And every single game now will have this input. And you can use it as you please, right? Now, next thing we are basically going to be doing is that you can, I'm just waiting for me to log in because I actually want to show this is working. It's working 100% fine. It isn't anything that is basically going to make it uh, not work. And with it, it's basically just going to be easy, lemon squeezy. Now we're basically inside a game. I just changed the display. So it's basically showing game. And I'm just going to show that if I press inside the game, the controller is working. So basically working right here uh, I'm basically pressing it back and forth and we're just gonna go and I'm gonna start to create a game and I was going to show you before that how to basically set it up so inside a game we want to want to come in here you're gonna go to your settings and the first thing you want to check is that you want to check your uh, mouse and keyboard setting and say that it doesn't ignore input or doesn't lock any inputs this both needs to be off for, to, for this method to work and uh, next to that, we're going to go into key bindings, and here's where the rest of the magic happens. So the key bindings you set for scroll it up, scroll it down, whatever you have for the other key bindings, um, is what you basically set on the actions you want inside the game. So, like I said, use for me is mouse scroll up because I have that on one of my actions on my controller, so I use that. Exist my healing slot inside. Uh, basically Fortnite, you can actually also set it to Q if you want to do that and when you switch between just use Q as the key menu because some people like having uh, some AR shotguns but usually I don't change around that much because if I'm going to change and next to that to get the muscle reset working you want to go find building edit do muscle down and muscle drown on the reset after that you're basically done and you're just going to start the game and I'm going to show you the magic so you can basically go out and slay and slay me a million times all your controller gods out there because i'm not a controller god i do play on controller i started on controller from playing call of duty way back and i just been changing back and forth and with this system i kind of wanted to see how i feel controllers are i don't think they're any overpowered i feel like they're having disadvantages and this disadvantages should be the same even after the, like the aim assist nerf or whatever you want to call it i still feel like pc has the scarlet reset as an advantage so i'm just gonna pick up the weapons here and i just want to show you my different key binding setup so i'm gonna pick up this thing as well so for my healing i usually have it on my last slot so if i now press my key binding on the back button here you guys saw that he pressed the end next thing if i do it's gonna shoot and i do my down it basically that's what I said it, it basically reloads and if I want to plug, plug out something so say for example I want this I can basically just do upwards now it needs to get a little time sitting this and doing this is a little bit weird but yeah it basically works like that now on the other side uh, the top button on here I don't know if I can really show it so this top button pressing it basically going to the shotgun and what's good about this is if you're basically standing where you are Spraying at people, you need to build, you're building up, coming to this point, we're just gonna shoot him. What you should have to do is you have to press back, then go into your shotgun. But with this, you can now simply just press your shotgun, shoot, and get back again. So, simply, you see, you have a button for it. Then, next thing, if you are in your, say, for example, you're in your sniper, you wanna snipe, snipe, pew, 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 and you want to do the air, you simply just do upwards and you get the air. Then, Let's just do this and now you can see that if you do it down, 
get the reset. Now, I don't have to tell you how good this is. It basically lets you set up the different key binds and let you do whatever things you want to do. And with that, you basically have everything you want to be able to do. And that makes it a lot easier. Makes it easy for you to do plays like you want to basically shoot and reset it, but you have to get a little used to it and it takes a little bit of time. But after that, I hope you guys enjoyed this and me showing you how to basically get scrollable reset without any macros, without any programs that will make you get freaking banned or anything like that. You can simply enjoy playing and have the same advantage as, say, for example, a PC player we have with using his mouse, having the mouse aim, and then also be able to reset. Because that's a big advantage we have, and now you guys have. Hope you guys enjoy.